What is the fear of the Lord? What does it really mean to fear God? And how do we make sure we have a proper, healthy reverence of God? By the end of this, you'll know what it really means to fear the Lord according to Scripture and how to do that well. Proverbs 8, 13 says, The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. The Lord says, Pride and arrogance and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. This is one of the dimensions of fearing God that doesn't get talked about. But this is a helpful starting place to understand what it means to fear God. See, fearing God means standing in awe of Him, showing reverence and love for God. This idea of fearing God is referring to love, respect, reverence, worship, obedience, delight, enjoyment, and submission to God. In Psalm 33, 8, fearing God means standing in awe of Him with a healthy sense of reverence and appropriate trembling. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12, fearing God refers to walking in God's ways and loving Him. In other words, keeping His commandments and serving God with reverence and awe is how we fear Him properly. Ecclesiastes 12 13, fearing God is actually the whole duty of man. According to this verse, enjoying Him and obeying Him is the whole duty of mankind is to stand in awe of Him and live accordingly with the proper revelation of God and an understanding of who He is. Proverbs 8.13, fearing God is not just avoiding evil, according to what we just read, it is to hate what is evil. It is to have God's standard of good and evil and have His standard of right and wrong and let Him determine these things for us. It's to agree so much with God's standard of goodness that we hate what he defines as evil and we trust in his standard and trust in what he defines to be evil. Job 28, 28, the fear of the Lord is actually wisdom and it involves turning away from evil. In other words, it is wise to fear the Lord properly and that involves turning away from what dishonors God because you revere God so much that you have his heart and you have his standard and you let him define what is good and what is evil for you. Psalm 86, 11, walking in God's truth and being taught God's ways is what it means to fear the Lord. In other words, fearing God is something that's learned. It comes with revelation of God. It comes with knowledge. The more we know him, the more he reveals himself to us, the more we understand God's ways and properly reverence God in a way where we submit to him and walk with him and obey his commandments. In fact, John 14, 15, it says, fearing God is loving him by obeying his commandments. And so there's usually this idea within fearing God that says, God is this abusive mob boss that's just waiting to whip me and, and d- d- you know, demanding I meet the quota for the week. And if I don't obey, then I get whooped. And that's just not the idea of fearing God in scripture. It is, I love him so much, I know who he is, and I stand in awe of him, and that causes me to tremble appropriately, and it moves me to obey his commandments, because I just know how great he is. I'm not afraid of being struck down, I just love him, and I'm responding to his love for me. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7, fearing God means not being wise in our own eyes. It means letting God decide what is good for us and what is not good for us, and then living according to what he says is good and what is not. It's not to live by our own understanding and and assume that our understanding is best and our understanding is better than God's, but it's to default to God's understanding and to say that even though in this moment I don't agree and my understanding says something else that's different than God's word, I submit to him. And I know that he knows better than I do, and I will not be wise in my own eyes. I will turn from evil and let God decide what that is for me. In fact, according to Proverbs 3, 7, fearing God is also letting God guide our lives by the standard of truth he's given us. 1 John 4, 18, fearing God actually is being secure in his love for us. Uh, Contrary to popular belief, fearing God or having a fear of the Lord is not to stand in terror of judgment. It's not to stand in terror of condemnation or wrath or punishment or hell. That's not what drives obedience or love. It's actually, I'm so secure in his love for me, it moves me to love him appropriately and obey his commandments out of a sense of reverence. I'm so secure and so loved that I can't help but obey his word. Matthew 10, 26 through 28 Acknowledging what God can do is involved in the fear of the Lord. It's prioritizing God's opinion above all. And so 
When I say fear God and respond to his love and be secure in his love and be motivated by his love instead of this fear of hell or fear of judgment, usually people will swing to the other extreme and say that, well, I should just treat God like he's my best buddy and he's no different than people and he's on the level of creation. He's not. We should acknowledge what God can do, that he can destroy both soul and body in hell, that he can sentence people to separation and exile for eternity. He can do these things, but I know he won't for me. And just the mere fact that he can, yet he doesn't do that to me, should cause me to have an even higher level of reverence and love for him. So here's what fearing God is not. Those are all a bunch of ways of explaining different dimensions of the fear of the Lord. But here's what fear of God is not. Fear of, fearing God is not living afraid of judgment. Fearing God is not living afraid of hell or being afraid I might be condemned to hell or I'm under God's wrath or I might be punished. First John 4.18 says there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. God's love within us moves that fear out of the way and out of our lives. Fearing God is not a kind of terror that constantly plagues us, but fearing God can involve a healthy conviction and healthy sense of reverence and trepidation. Fearing God is not obeying God's commandments to avoid hell or to avoid wrath and judgment out of terror, because that's what a lot of people think fear of the Lord is. It's, I'm afraid he might strike me down, so I better do what he says. Fearing God is from a place of security. I know who he is. I know what he says about me. I know what he's done for me. I know that he loves me. And so I live appropriately with a sense of reverence, awe, obedience, and a sense of desire for God and delight in his ways. That is the fear of the Lord. And if you want the scriptures and notes for this teaching, you can find those in the full free course for new believers on our website under session 21, Fear of God. Be sure to review the scriptures and the notes before the next session. And please do share this with someone that might benefit from this course. Visit AboveReproachMinistry.com and I will see you in the next video where we address the question, What is Prayer?